Okay, here we're going to use a table of values to estimate the value of the limit. And then if you have a graphing device, use it to confirm your result graphically. So we're going to go ahead and then put in our table here. So we're going to select our table. We have x subscript 1. We're going to put in the function here. So we have um, the square root of x1 plus 4. Use your right arrow key and then subtract 2. And then we're going to divide that by x there. Okay, so there is our function. We're going to put in our values of 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.05, negative 0 0.01. Okay, so here we can see our particular values and what's happening in our table. So let me go ahead and copy those and uh, round those to six decimal places. So therefore, those are our numbers. Okay, so we're first going to be able to find out what's happening as we approach uh, the limit as x is approaching zero of the square root of x plus 4 minus 2 over x. So the first thing we want to do is find out what happens when the limit is approaching zero from the left of our function, the square root of x plus 4 minus 2 over x. Okay. So as it is approaching here, we can see that as it is approaching 2, or excuse me, 0 from the left, we see that it is ending up at 0 0.25. Okay, and then over here, as x is approaching 0 from the right, then we can also see that this limit is approaching 0.25. So therefore that we can see that these are equal. So that means the limit as x is approaching zero of the function, the square root of x plus four minus two over x is equal to 0.25 or as the fraction one fourth. Okay, now it does tell us to, if you have a graphing device, to use it to confirm your result graphically. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and then put in this graph. So we have the square root of x plus 4 minus 2. Put that in parentheses here. And then we're going to divide that by x. Okay, so we can see here that this represents on the graph 0.25, negative 0 0.01 and then 0.25. So let's go ahead and copy this graph to confirm our results. So we can see here that as x is approaching 0 from the left, this output is 0.25. And as x is approaching 0 from the right, then we can also see that this is also going to 0.25, which confirms our results of what we found.